With no choice but to acquiesce to Sorsley's demands, House Wolfort loads a merchant's cart with contraband salt and sets off across their own homeland in disguise. Through benighted forests and desolate mountains, they forge a path, staving off the assault of thievish bandits and finally reaching Esfrost. Upon crossing into new territory, they find themselves surrounded by soldiers clad in black. Expecting yet another skirmish, the Wolfort steal themselves for combat. However, the warriors lower their weapons. Through the mists, an unexpected figure appears, Svarog Esfrost, Lord of Twinsgate and Keeper of his country's borders. This is quite the development. My very uncle buying salt outside of the Consortium's purview. The lion's share of the surprise is mine, I assure you. Who would be aiding me in this illicit endeavor but the noble Warforts? Circumstances have caused us to set aside pride for the sake of survival. Of course, I understand. Oft we must travel the only road available to us. And what road has brought you here, uncle? I cannot imagine you have come with Gustadolf's blessing. What road indeed? My own circumstances have caused me to look outside my humble station, to find the means I require. A reckoning is at hand, and I must needs be ready for it. Hmm. To that end, I must ask. And pray do not waste my time with mistruths. Do you know who murdered my son? No. I'm sorry. I see. Gustadoff would have me believe that an agent of Glenbrook dealt the fatal blow. That's impossible. Is it? You speak as if you were there, Frederica. She was. As was I. We were with Dragan during his... during his final moments. You were. And yet, you do not know who killed him. I will ask once more. And once more only. Who murdered my son? We were the only representatives from Glenbrook at the mines that day. The arrow that killed your son was loosed by an Esfrosty soldier. We were attacked and fought back the assault, but they did not flee without a parting gift. Hmm. Your story is convenient, but that alone is no reason to discount it. Besides, it does offer an interesting perspective on the matter. Let us say you have the truth of the matter. That would mean... Gustadov has been lying through his teeth. That would come as a shock to many, I'm sure. Regardless, nightfall is come. Camp within our gates tonight. Do you believe us? What is there to believe? This meeting never occurred. Now follow me. So, that's how it went, eh? Glad you came back to us with your head on your shoulders. Given the lies he's been fed, it couldn't have been easy for Svarog to keep his composure. Still, it will be no easy task to assuage his doubts. I fear it may not be long until he gives into his desire for revenge, justified or not. Perhaps. But I very much had the sense that his opinion of Gustadolf was less than favorable. So long as we shared the same enemy, there's a chance to build faith between us. I had the same intuition. Would that we could lend weight to our claims. There must be something that can sway him.
Perhaps a secret will suffice. We have one of great value to the right person. Huh? What are you on about? No. You can't mean... None would rather see the Archduke laid low more than I. As Farag knew I still lived, we might find common cause. With the Prince of Glenbrook behind him, his opposition would be justified. The enemy of our enemy, eh? Wish we had more than a feeling to go on. Once this secret is revealed, there will be no turning back. It is a gamble, yes. However, this may be our best and only option to gain support from within Esfrost. There is much to consider. I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter. Do we keep Roland's secret our secret? Or do we trade it for a potential ally?
Yes. So then... I am decided. Say. Certainly. I am ready. Me? I don't know. Possibly. I require some time to think. It is time to cast our votes. Do we reveal that it is Roland behind the mask, or do we keep his identity a secret? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. You've convinced me. I believe I can decide this matter with confidence.
I agree wholeheartedly. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. We keep Roland's identity a secret and find another way to win Svarog's trust. Very well. Roland's secret shall remain with us and us alone. Still, it would be wise to plead our case to Svarog. To that end, I would speak with him on the morrow. Then I shall arrange an audience. In the meantime, let us consider how we might sway him to our point of view.